this was an update of a book uh, that Bob published uh, in 1978, so that's almost 40 years ago. And this book has been a very important book for uh, anybody interested in mineralogy, uh, collecting in Georgia, but it, uh, after about 20 years or so, it became hopelessly out of date. And uh, Bob approached me uh, first around the year 2000 to update the book. And tell me about the, the tell me the name of this book and what exactly does this book entail? Uh, the book is uh, Minerals of Georgia, and it's a compilation of every significant uh, mineral and mineral locality that has occurred in Georgia. It's got over 200 minerals, and the book itself is uh, about uh, over 350 pages. It's got uh, over 150 color photographs about uh, minerals, uh, some of the best specimens you'll find uh, in Georgia. And Dr. Cook, how much work went to this book? Oh, enormous amounts of work. Um, the original, the original uh, edition was was uh, dictated into a dictaphone. This is before the days of, of computers or easily used computers. The secretary had to transcribe the tapes, um, and then the, the the typewriter written manuscript was given to the state of Georgia, who then put it on a on a computer and, and did a, a a desktop published uh, bulletin, bulletin ninety two. Um, Julian then years later uh, had it scanned with a, a character recognition program that allowed us to have a digital version of the original book, which we then reformatted into the present uh, organization scheme that we used, which is different from the first, and then we began to add new mineral locations, new minerals, uh, and additional chapters, and it was an enormous amount of work. And Julian, how much work and, and what was your process of getting that put in there? Well, I actually uh, took the, the manuscript. I had, uh, this was a very well used copy of, of the book. And when Bob told me he didn't even have an electronic copy of the book, I said, well, this is something I can do to help the project out. So I went home and took my copy apart, took the binding off, and I put it on a scanner and scanned it and put it into a file and took, you know, of course, that process enters, you know, injects a lot of errors too. So. Um, sent Bob as clean a manuscript as I could, but it took me a good better part of a week over Christmas holiday one year uh, to do that. And, and who exactly is, is this book directed toward? Who, who's the reader that you're trying to go after? Well, it, the, the book is available in a, in a number of, of venues, uh, but primarily what we're trying to do is get it uh, before an audience that would include uh, young people. Uh, we like we we would like to encourage young people to not only be collectors of minerals but actually become more knowledgeable in our science and hopefully a few of these will become in some way professionals possibly geologists mining engineers environmental geologists uh, so that the the audience is extremely broad then then there's the person that likes to have a, a book with a, a pretty cover sitting on his coffee table we like those people too <laughs> and, and, and what all can you find in the book? What, what, you know, is it for kids, for adults, what what kind of information is is is, is entailed? Well, for, for kids, I mean, the, the most fundamental information about about Georgia's geology is, is in there. We have simplified it to the point where, if it got any simpler, you would think Georgia only had one rock formation, and that would be it. <laughs> but uh, we we've got a, a little geologic map and. Uh, of brief descriptions of the geologic provinces and so that in itself would be worthwhile to, to say a kid in the, the seventh or eighth grade they, they're going to understand what they're reading they, they may not know what all the words mean but they're going to understand the gist of what we're trying to get across to them. And, and what did it may, mean for, for for you three gentlemen to release this book after 40 years and just the hard work and and, and time that y'all spent in to, to doing this book well the original book was uh, just uh, essential to anybody interested in, in collecting uh, in Georgia. So uh, I've had my copy, I can't remember how long I've had it. Uh, I, I called it the Bible of Georgia Mineralogy. I think J Julian can, can say the same, anybody, anybody, any geologist, any, anybody in mining, anybody interested in, in going out in the field and um, collecting minerals would have had this, this original book. Uh, and so having it updated, uh, having it, uh, uh, because Part of this process was to update it with uh, totally new information and adding the photographs. So to, to have it done and have it available to the public, it's pretty exciting for me. And Julian? 
Well, one other thing to, to add to uh, what Jose said, uh, the book is, uh, the original book was published by the Georgia Geological Survey, which was originally the only place where you could uh, purchase a copy. <clears throat> and uh, the current edition uh, is a more popular uh, sort of book, it, you know, with the color illustrations, with some general geology added in. Um, it makes it more accessible to a wider audience. It's also uh, published by University of Georgia Press, uh, and they are distributing it pro professionally. And I have to put in a plug for Jose, who uh, edited the book uh, for Bob and I. And uh, he also got in contact with University of Georgia Press and uh, made those contacts. And um, this book is going to be available in Barnes and Noble and public, you know, in you know, popular bookstores. It's uh, Amazon. It's available here at the museum. So it's going to be available to a wider audience, and we think that it's going to have a, a much broader appeal than the original uh, book did. And yes, I use this book, and, and I know hundreds of uh, collectors have used the original uh, edition of the 1978 edition of the book. So I think uh, uh, I think this is going to be a popular book, and we hope that it's going to inspire a lot of people to go out and look for rocks and, and uh, make a new discovery. For more information about the book or how somebody can purchase the book or, or whatnot, where can they find you? Uh, there are a couple of places. Um, the TELUS website, uh, you can buy it online on the TELUS website, uh, obviously Amazon.com, um, University of Georgia Press, and um, we've developed a Facebook page, Minerals of Georgia, and you can uh, like that and follow us in any of the appearances that we make uh, where we'll be lecturing about Minerals of Georgia or signing the book. Uh, any new information, we can update it there. So that'll be a good place for people to keep up with uh, with happenings related to the book. A lot of the locations that are described in the book are on private property. And, and a person shouldn't buy the book, figure out where a location is, and just go and, and, and wander onto somebody's property without getting permission first. Um, also, some of the localities are in, in, on public lands, public being in quotes such as the Chattahoochee National Forest. And there, there are some issues with collecting minerals and fossils on national forest lands these days. And so a person needs to understand uh, whether or not the, they should actually be trying to collect minerals at some of these sites before they go.